Good morning folks. This is the third sighting of the UFO spiral or Norway spiral. The official story is that this is a Russian missile and the spiral is a decoy for US anti-missile technology. Anyone else suspicious of that story? NASA can't go two days without provoking Nibiru talk with its own articles. Brown dwarfs are nearby. Obama, this is a fool's hope. No austerity or bailout can work. China can cut gas prices or do a QE of their own to no avail. At least things remain status quo here even if that status quo is fake diplomacy riddled with accusations. An unusual quake, a 4.3, hit New South Wales yesterday. An Indonesian volcano chain has been active for four days now. Mount Stromboli put on a seismic display, volcanic tremors and landslides on the mountain yesterday. Families are being evacuated near Nevado del Ruiz, remember that's the bad volcano. And we have had multiple volcanoes showing dangerous signs in Guatemala, not to be confused with the four in Costa Rica, no longer on this map. Solar wind, yellow is the speed, it's dropping off, above it the orange is density and you can see intermittent spikes but nothing major. Soho shows the same, speed is up top, going down, small density spike underneath. Even without significant solar wind, we can't sleep on space weather, cosmic ray flux is elevated this morning. We have a couple beta gamma regions on the top and bottom here. The southern spot seems the one that's most dangerous to me. Luckily they are turning away. We should keep an eye on the southeastern limb for this new active region. Looks significant. Eruptions near the Earth footprint cause radiation storms. Luckily it's nowhere near an active region. Remember this is where the interplanetary magnetic tether connects. Those are the black and white lines. Every planet has them. You can also see here one of the CMEs on the way to Earth. I do expect two impacts in the next 36 to 48 hours. For those new to sun watching, on the left, that dark twisting, releasing thing is a plasma filament. Luckily, it did not erupt towards Earth. You can see two dark coronal holes, one up north and one in the south. Tough to say if either will be geo-effective. The thin dark lines around those are more filaments. Let's hope those stay put. Sky watchers. Not much happening the rest of this month in terms of geocentric lineups. It'd be great if we could see these planets near the sun, wouldn't it? Oh well. When it goes down, a pretty pseudo triangle forms at dusk with Mars, Saturn spike over here, and Arcturus up top. These are very prominent and a great first thing to try and spot if you've never done anything like that before. Or if you're a morning geek like me, Jupiter rises with Pleiades just above it, just before the sun comes up. That's the news, folks. Be safe.